Gagne of France, and this is the semi-final of the Kieran, where the riders all start behind that little motorcycle, which controls the speed of the race, and then he peels off two and a half laps from the finish, and it's every man for himself. And I have to say, in Kieran racing, that is usually the word, every man for himself. And now Anthony Payden of New Zealand, the Oceana champion, goes back into second place as Laurent Gagne gets onto the front. And it's Van Eyden from Germany now moving up onto the shoulder. And big Darren Hill there trying to find a way through with the former world champion, Manier, sitting there, fifth in line. He's still waiting for the last minute, but Gagne is holding his own on the front. Van Eyden waiting for the attack. Uh, not Van Eyden, Payden waiting for the attack to come on his shoulder from Hill. Van Eyden moving Hill a little bit up the track now as he goes onto the shoulder of Payden. But Gagne is holding them all up. This is an amazing ride here. First three through into the final. Gagne takes it from Payden and Van Eyden. They will qualify. Now, who will join them? Because that was the face of Jens Fiedler, the silver medalist yet again in the World Sprint Championship to Florian Rousseau. Rousseau, by the way, is also in this heat. As they start now, Fiedler has the best position behind the motorbike, which is now peeled off, but he's now left to uh, begin to lift the speed here as they've got just two laps of the track to go now. Big Marty Nochstein, former double world champion at the Kieran, lying third wheel on the inside, being pushed down by Florian Russo, moving smoothly now into second place. A little bit of a bump there from Jens Fiedler as the bell goes. Sitting behind the Japanese rider now as they head round, half a lap to go. Fiedler now looking to make his move. As he comes on, oh, he's, he's thrown another hook there, Jens Fiedler. Well, he could get disqualified for that, but he comes up now to the line and he takes it on the line. A kick six also comes in there to qualify. Well, there is Jens Fiedler. He didn't get disqualified. We're now starting the final here of the men's Kieran, the last event of these World Championships in which the French have won six gold medals so far. And well, they're going to rely on Ron Gagne, bronze medalist in the sprint. So he's obviously progressing each year. Jens Fiedler, second in the sprint. Russo, by the way, didn't get through, so he's not here. That's Kixis of Latvia. Anthony Payden is the rider on the far side in the white jersey, the Oceana Games champion. Big, tough man. He's just a little clash of shoulders, though, with Lauren Gannis. He pushed him out the way. Well, it's all... Uh, a kind of allowed in Kieran racing. You never quite know when the judges are going to close in on you, but uh, they do try to allow a little bit of rough style riding because that's what this race is really all about. It's typically a Japanese tradition of cycle racing where the riders make a lot of money riding around the indoor stadiums of Japan. There's Fiedler. There we see the clash again, the elbow in the thigh from Gagnon to remind him he's still there. Now Peden's got himself to the front and he's rough riding. Kick six here. Kick six, putting his crash helmet into the shoulder of this big man from New Zealand. I think he's the best sprinter New Zealand's ever turned out. And he's holding him right on the inside of the Derny as the move comes over the top as the Derny goes off. Well, Peden was paying so much attention to annoying everybody, he missed the move here because the move has come now from Jens Fiedler. But it's still two laps to go. Right on the tail of Fiedler is his teammate Van Eyden, who now throws a hook out to Gagnon and pushes him away. Peden gives it to Gagnon as well as he tries to move up. I think the judges are going to have a few words to say here at the end of the race with one lap to go. They've got the Japanese rider off the track who's now elbowing Peden. And all of the time, Jens Fiedler is sitting at the front being chased by Van Eyden. And as they come round, it's going to be Fiedler and Van Eyden across the line and Peden in third place. But as we watch the slow motion, the booing here, in fact, they have disqualified Van Eyden and Peden. I find it very hard on uh, Van Eyden, but Peden, yes, he should have gone. Fiedler is the world 